Hey guys, this is Nick with Fami, and today we're taking a look at the Google Chromebook, which is based off the Google Chrome browser. Here's a login menu for Chrome. You would log in with your Google account, and if you have friends over and you don't want him to see your personal information or any type of account information, then you don't have to worry because there's a guest mode for that. By using guest mode, they can browse the internet freely without going through your account. So that's pretty useful as well. Right now I'm gonna shut it down and start it back up so you guys can see how fast this thing can load up. Okay, here we have the notebook shut down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and we're gonna see how fast this thing can load up. Right now we see the Chrome logo starting up and it only took a few seconds and it's already done. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Here I have everything laid out from this box. And what it basically contains is the notebook battery along with the charging adapter. And we have the netbook right here along with a quick start guide. And it even includes some stickers. You can use the stickers to customize your Chromebook. And that's it. Okay, here we have the Google Netbook. It looks just like your regular laptop and the entire body is covered in a rubberized finish. Here's the trackpad along with the keys and there's some hot keys over here on the top. A strange thing about this notebook is the fact that it doesn't have a caps lock key. I'm not sure why they removed it. So you pretty much have to hold on the shift key to type all your text in caps. Here are the basic ports, and another port on the side, and there are no ports on the back, which is completely rubberized also. Here we have the Google Chrome interface. It's really not too different from what you would see in a Chrome browser on your desktop. You basically have your tabs up here along with your Wi-Fi, battery indicator, and time. You can also add different apps and bookmarks to your toolbar. Navigating through this interface is pretty simple and straightforward. Anybody who's used Internet Explorer or Google Chrome would have no problem using this. Even with eight tabs opened up right now, it's working pretty well. It's pretty responsive as far as notebooks go. There's really not too many other functions other than being a purely internet based device. And it's really easy to use. Um, the interface is you know, pretty simple. You can open up new tabs. You can easily add apps to, to the interface. You can also go here and change the settings and you know, it's really, really similar to what you would see in a desktop Chrome. They didn't really add too many new features. And in a way, this is really great if you just need a device purely for internet and apps. But when we get to videos, the rendering isn't too great. Right now I have a 720p trailer loaded up. And playback doesn't work out too well. It's a little bit laggy. And right now, Whenever you open up a new tab, it'll also lay out the apps that are already installed. And of course, you can go to the web store right here to download even more apps. There are a bunch of different extensions you can download, themes. What I really like about this is being able to customize your interface. Sure, there aren't too many new functions or features that are available on the Chrome interface, but it still works pretty well. So here are the apps. Here's YouTube along with Entanglement, which is a game I have opened up right here. And Pop It, which is another game, kind of like Bejeweled. And you pretty much just pop the balloons. Here we have the scratch pad, like you would use a notepad in your desktop. You would use scratch pad in Google Chrome. What it does is basically store all of your information on cloud or you can store it locally. 
So you don't really have to worry about losing your information. If something were to happen to your notebook, I'll type in, this is a Chrome notebook, and I would hit save, and it would save this note locally. And if I wanted to, I could also store it on the cloud so that it would automatically sync whenever I made a note. And I wouldn't have to worry about updating it or saving because everything's stored by the cloud. So it's pretty useful as well in place of the regular notepad you use on your desktop. Here's Google Maps, of course, because I'm sure everybody's used Google Maps. Google Talk, the web store, and even Gmail. So you could add even more apps on top of this. And it'll also show your most visited sites. The interface is pretty straightforward, and overall, this Chrome Netbook really doesn't offer too many new features as far as notebooks go, but if you need a notebook for internet browsing or even apps, then this definitely has enough power to fulfill your needs. But if you want a notebook for media browsing and high definition videos and or maybe even some detailed games, then this may not be as powerful as a regular laptop would be. Thanks for watching my review. Be sure to check out Farmilla.com for the latest accessories for your device.